Hey, hey Swifties, it's Rachel. So today I am just going to kind of be talking about Taylor on Tumblr because, um, Tay on Tumblr is so amazing. Um, yeah, and I just felt like making a video because talking to you guys makes me feel better. <laughs> Some of my friends and I are going through stuff right now, and I just wanted to talk about something that made me happy, so let's go, and um, yeah. So, I'm kind of being hated on right now for defending Taylor the way I do, so guess what? I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake off, a shake off. Like, one of my friends said that I was too defensive, and I get too defensive when like, they say something about Taylor, like, she's like my sister, you don't even know how much I love her, like, leave her alone, goodbye. Haters gonna hate, 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 I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake off, a shake off, okay. So Taylor on Tumblr, so where do I begin? So when she, I had had a Tumblr, um, but, um, I, I didn't download the app on my phone, so... I didn't remember my password because I had to save it on one of my phones and then I got a replacement for my phone because it cracked. And this was like a long time ago, like, I'm just telling like how I became on Tumblr again and all that, okay. So I had lost like my Tumblr account, so then Taylor got Tumblr. And I was like, oh my gosh, Taylor's on Tumblr now, I'm definitely getting a new account. So I started fresh, and now my account is Wildest Dreams for Swift, and my idol Taylor Swift knows my account. Alright, so when I started blogging again, um, to be honest, I kind of ditched Tum I mean, Twitter and Instagram. Like, I usually just go on Tumblr now. Like, I post some of my pictures on Instagram, like, a lot of my pictures are on Instagram, but, like, you can do both on Tumblr, so, anyways. So, I started reblogging, and, like, when Taylor was trying to figure out Tumblr, I was too, because I had forgotten stuff about Tumblr, so I was like, yeah, how do you do that? So I was, like, agreeing with her. I remember the first picture, um of her and Olivia, like, her selfie, and can I just say, Taylor is, like, hilarious, like, in, like, in interviews, but I'm also saying, like, on Tumblr, like, her hashtags, like, catitude, and, like, her being on Tumblr has given us more inside jokes with Taylor, like, she, she knows, no, it's Becky, like, oh my gosh, okay, funny story, so my friend said she was a Swifty, and I said, no, she said, I, I, I was, blah, blah, blah. I can't talk. Uh, she was like, I really like Taylor Swift. I'm like, no, it's Becky. And she was like, what? I'm like, yeah, you're becoming one. You're not one yet. You don't know, no, it's Becky. So, yeah, that was funny. So, um, <laughs> you know, she she's bonded with us more. Um, and she followed me on October 15th, 2014. And that was actually one month um, after Taylor Nation followed me on Twitter. They followed me September 15th. Um, Taylor, I have, has she noticed me? She hadn't even noticed me on Tumblr yet. And she randomly followed me one night. It was at 3 a.m. And I was up and I was liking stuff that about her. But she... I think she was stalking my blog because I had not posted, I had not tagged her in any posts, like, since that night before, and she gets tons of stuff on Tumblr, so. Anyways, she followed me, and I remember just, like, freezing, and, like, what just happened? So, um, my whole world stopped. I actually had to put it as my screensaver, so when I woke up, I'd actually believe it. So, anyways... Um, so I started posting pictures with her, cause, well I had posted pictures, like, for her, but she hadn't seen them, and then this magical thing started happening that she started liking my stuff, and just, 
it seemed like every week that she was liking a new post of mine, or in, when 1989 came out, she tweeted my face on November 2nd, and she said, and I know for you, it's always me with a heart, and, um, I know Places is my song because of that, and also because Crazy Like a Fox, and I'm addicted to foxes because of Taylor, like, Crazy Like a Fox, Taylor gets that. I know that I say that in like every video now because like I have an inside joke with Taylor. Like, what? Okay, so anyways, she started liking my post. She's actually noticed me, um, I'm not trying to brag, 110 times. I, people are probably like, why do you have that in your bio on Tumblr? Because honestly, I never thought this would happen. When she started sending like Christmas presents to fans, um, if you guys remember that big FedEx, like, stack, I was like, Taylor doesn't even know my name. And, um, I was like, Psh, I, it's, she doesn't know me. Like, it's not gonna happen. Like, at first, it wasn't, like, Taylor King. It would just be, like, a random picture here and there. I was like, she notices tons of fans every day. She doesn't know me. Okay, forget it. She, she followed me. She's, like, some of my posts, and, like, I'm grateful for that, but she doesn't, she doesn't know my name, she doesn't know, like, all the stuff that I wanted her to know. So, I kept trying. And, um, <sighs> she started taylorking me about, let me take my calendar off my wall. I wrote it on my calendar. November was, like, a prime month. Okay, hold on. Yeah. So, after she tweeted me my face, and she liked that picture, she liked my post the next week, and then she liked, she tailored the next week, and then she liked that Friday, and then she lurked again on that Saturday, like two weeks from when she tweeted my picture, and then December, she tailored to me Monday, December 1st, she tailored to me Wednesday the 3rd, and then um, Thursday the 4th, and then something happened on the 5th that I'll never forget, and I can't still believe it happened to me. Alright, so, um, AMA night, or, it was... Oh, wow. All right, so it was the 21st of November, and I got a direct message from Taylor Nation on um, Twitter, and it said, this is a confidential message, you can't tell anybody, and so two weeks passed, nothing happened, and I was like, maybe they just wanted my information for like a contest, or, you know, just to have it on file, I didn't know. And I really didn't think, because, like, most people got their package, like, as soon as Taylor Nation contacted them. But anyways, um, then on Thursday the 4th, I got the email of my life. I got an email saying that somebody needed to be at the house at 8 a.m. Um, because there was a package arriving. And I didn't know, oh, maybe Taylor Nation's sending me merchandise. Or maybe it's something from Taylor, but I didn't want to get my hopes up completely. So that morning I woke up, I had butterflies in my stomach, and I went over to my mom's, and when I was pulling into the neighborhood, there was a FedEx Express truck, and I just completely, I was like, froze. I was like, oh my god. So I walk in the door, and there's a big FedEx box in the doorway, from my idol, Taylor Swift. And I said, oh my god, it's from Nashville. And that, that was like my first clue. But I'm like, yeah, but her merchandise is also from Nashville. So I was like, just let me open it. So I was like in the floor trying to get it open. And then I saw the card on top with presents. And I just completely fell in the floor. Then I read the note. And I started bawling my eyes out. Because she said, can't wait to meet you soon. I'm telling you the story again about, like, why she sent me presents, guys. I'm sorry. That's just, like, the part of the Tumblr thing. No!
And, like, that whole day, she was, like, checking up on me to, like, make sure I got the package. And she saw me bawling my eyes out. And, um, she even checked up with me last Sunday. Um, when I went to go see a play. She was liking the most generic stuff. I said that my grandma had put blankets in the car because it was cold outside. And she liked it. I think what I... I'm trying to say here guys is that Taylor really cares and I said I think Taylor cares about me more than some of my friends she liked that she pays attention that's what I think means the most to me when I didn't think she was watching she was like that girl is lurking and just like the element of surprise has become more real like I I don't go into stuff saying Okay. Glendale, Arizona. I'm going to meet Taylor. Yes, it's going to happen. If it doesn't happen, I'm going to pitch a fit. Like, I'm going to be upset if I don't meet her in 2015 because my goal in 2015 is to meet Taylor. But I'm not going to go into it with the highest hopes and like, oh my god. We're going to meet her. We are going to meet her. Like, not. It can't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying... If I meet her, my dreams will have come true. My my dreams have already partially become true because Taylor knows who I am. And she got an engraved bracelet for me that says, Taylor loves Rachel, it's it, and she wrote on it, so you never forget. She's just so funny, and she likes, she likes to know what we're up to, and that just means a lot to me. Um, I had a chorus concert, she knew about it. And... Everybody's just like, oh, you and Taylor are, like, best friends, and you know how much that means to me, like, for people to remind me every day that Taylor knows who I am, just, like, makes me feel like I'm gonna cry, for real, like, and then, um, I was actually in study hall one day, and I was reading something that I wrote in 2009, and I literally had to put my head down on my desk because I started crying, because... She wrote a letter, like, back to me five years later. And I am going to be here for the short hair. Um, well, I was here for the curls. I was here for the bangs. I was here for the short hair, don't care. And I'm going to be here for the gray. My, everybody is like, you're so crazy. Like, oh my god. Like, you defend Taylor Swift. Like, what is wrong with you? No, Taylor Swift is so sweet. Like, she might be a celebrity, but honestly... I already felt like she was a friend, and she's always been there in situations for me, but when she joined Tumblr, I honestly felt we were instant best friends, because when she comes on my blog, you know, Alexis goes on my blog, she likes my stuff, and we're best friends, and it just made me feel like Taylor and I are good friends, and I am actually friends with her, but... Never in my wildest dreams did I think Taylor would know me, and it just, like, makes me so happy. That she's so funny. She's noticing the Swifties. She's making their day. She's made my day. Since 2008. When I first heard Love Story. And then in 2009, I started really getting into her, and here I am. Um, but regardless, guys, you should make a Tumblr, because I'm on there all the time. I'm on there so much. Um, and I, and I never post something, like, sometimes I'll still tag Taylor and stuff, but you know what, when you're least expecting it, Taylor likes, she is, oh my gosh, I love her so much, and guys, don't give up, because I, I didn't, I created a Tumblr because I knew she was going to be interacting with her fans on it, but I didn't think that she would know who I was as a result and I can't believe it happened and I love Taylor so much and every time Taylor Swift liked your photo pops up I literally and it never gets old like some people think oh my she probably just sits there she's like oh okay another like no I I, the last time she liked, like, I just was, I was smiling so big, and then I just, like, 
I get this warm feeling in my heart because Taylor is doing all these amazing things for fans and she just, she brightens my day and just like knowing that there's a FedEx box, I still, I didn't throw anything away, I didn't even throw tape away that she touched. Um, but anyways, it's just like dream impossible things guys. I, I, like I said, I never thought that I would have personal gifts from my idol. I never thought that. When I said, I was like, come on, she doesn't even know me. Or like, it's so cool because I can post a picture and I feel like she's seen it. Like, I just feel like it's a personal connection. It's gotten, our relationship with Taylor has gotten so much stronger in the past year. She's even said that. And I believe that's true. She's trying to meet everybody and I just really want to meet her. And I just want to have my time with her and just tell her everything she's done for me. And no matter if I'm sitting alone at lunch, no matter if... I feel like I can't forgive somebody and then I do. No matter if Taylor makes my phone battery die because she's on Tumblr and RIP me, I want to thank her for that. I just want to thank her for everything she's done. I want to thank her for being a positive role model. And you know, some people, you know, they can't really say, oh, this person is this. Like, they, I feel like I can full on defend Taylor because she deserves it. Like, she's done nothing wrong. She's such a sweet angel. Oh, she's had so many boyfriends. You've had the number she's had in her career in the past week. So I don't want to hear your mouth. So anyway, she's like my sister and I love her like family. I always will love her like family. And... Tumblr. I'm so glad Taylor joined Tumblr. I can't believe it. You know, looking back on my Instagram, and I just want Taylor to notice me. Here I am saying that she she knows who I am. She, she gave me what I wanted for Christmas. She gave me a Polaroid camera. She gave me a Polaroid with her. She gave me a personal note. She gave me everything. And if you want to see my gifts from Taylor. Just go to my presents from Taylor video because now I'm just being annoying. And just like, I think, I just like, Taylor, thank you for having such a personal bond with us. You know, some, some other singers are just like really distant from their fans. They're like, oh cool, thanks for buying my album, bye! And then they leave and not Taylor, she, she's a blurkin. And um, she she spends time with she spends time with us. Yes, she spends time with us online, and she just goes extra mile for us always. Taylor, I love you, and stay on Tumblr <laughs> because I will be. Um, I'm gonna go party like it's 1989. <laughs> The 1989 era has not even started, and it's already my favorite. Okay. Because, like, Taylor is being... She's, she's noticed me. She's sending fans presents. She's doing all these amazing things. And I just love that girl. So much. Okay? She called me pretty. And that gave me so much confidence. Taylor... I love you and that's all I really know. I talk to my dad, he thinks I'm crazy, but he thinks I'm dedicated, so he thinks I should meet her. That didn't even work. But, um, no, he, and my parents are so supportive, like, every time I'm like, I, yeah, I can't believe it. Okay. All right. So, Taylor, I love you, and we're Fox Buddies forever, and I will see you in Glendale Night 1 and DC Night 1. Let's go. I'm just going to go shake off them haters and go blog on Tumblr with my friend Taylor Swift. I love you guys, and my Tumblr is down below. It is Wildest Dreams for Swift if you want to talk to me on there. I have not figured out how to message on there, so help me. <laughs> so, I love you, Taylor, and... Oh wait, no, it's Becky.
love you guys.